Hey, congratulations. It's the start of something big. Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan presenting 135 deeds to graduates of the Detroit Land Bank Authority buyback program. We just, you know, strengthened 135 blocks with a new homeowner. People like Ricky Palmer. Thank God I own this house. It's a house that was once owned by his family members. My people owned it a long time ago and uh, it overlaps. So I, I tried, I, I went to the land back and get the house back. So I finally got it back after three years. And today he's celebrating. I feel so comfortable and relaxed. I got my own house. I don't have to worry about nobody paying rent and over over here. I don't got to worry about no uh, getting in nobody's house, you know, sleeping on a couch or nothing. But before participants of the buyback program receive their deed, there's work to do, like completing a year of home buyer counseling courses and saving up money to pay their summer tax bill. We do financial assessments with them in the system and budgeting, creating savings, etc. And then we counsel them throughout the 12 month process to get them to the event that's today, which is where they receive their uh, deed. The buyback program provides a pathway to home ownership for people living in houses owned by Detroit Land Bank. When we first launched buyback as a pilot in 2016, um, we were entering uncharted territory. The success of this program is unprecedented, not just here in Detroit, but across the country. City officials say the land bank program has helped more than 1,000 Detroiters achieve home ownership. So instead of 1,000 vacant houses in the city, by pushing people out who lost at foreclosure, we've got a thousand homeowners, and today it's 135. But it's been more than a thousand since we started the buyback program, and it's great. You can see from talking to these folks, they love the house they're in. They're going to keep it up. City officials say it's a win for families and the city. I'd rather have the families who are there uh, stay there, and that's that's what we've done. In Southfield, Ingrid Kelly, Fox Two News.